Alright, what's for one Easter finder here and today we're gonna be playing some more uh, killing a uh, flora too But yeah, man, I do realize that I haven't uploaded anything for pretty much three days And I uh, can kind of say I took a little bit of a break from everything. Yeah So yeah, today we're gonna be playing a custom map called the path to the void And we're gonna be playing it on endless because I do want to show off all of the rooms So yeah, this map it is a progression style map same as you know, the one and only one we have in the official killing floor called Krampus Lair. And I do think this one is gonna be like more, how should I say, better than Krampus Lair. But I mean, progression style maps, I mean, they're cool, you know, they're better than, you know, holdout maps. But I kind of wish that, you know, when you covered an area, you can like go back to that area. Would be a little bit better, but at the same time, what do I know, right? I am just a pot funder and I play game. Well, and right, here off with your... I, I guess chest armor even though I went for the head, yeah? Alright man, there we go. But yeah, since it's still like double XP, I just decided, well shit, I'm just gonna go and level up my Abbesserker. Okay, spoiler, what you doing fam? But yeah man, a lot of people have been telling me that the Berserker, I mean, it's just a noob perk, I guess, or something like that. And to that I say, what the fuck? Cause I mean, this perk, if you're just like a beginner to the game, it, it's not really all that noob friendly if you think about it because you have to go like up close to Zeds And if you don't know how to parry and block and shit like that, you're probably gonna die So yeah, I don't think this work is that much, you know, noob friendly as people claim it to be so Okay, what the hell was that? I just glitched out, nice Well, I'm time for the good old trader and I guess I can just upgrade the shovel and skip the trader So yeah, I did play this map for Pretty much two rooms and I kind of know that this is like the cave, but beyond the cave I have no idea what the hell is even on this map. But yeah, as you can see, once you go out of the area, you're just gonna get teleported here and you can't go back, which is a little bit disappointing. Okay, stalkers, I can't see you for shit, so go away. Okay, free parry, thank you very much, so I can get increased speed and increased damage. And I missed the nice things, man. Okay, so it said something about like three attributes and shit like that, and I don't know exactly what the hell that means. Maybe there's like some secrets on this area, not entirely sure. I mean, there is this shit, which just like scribbles a bunch of stupid ass, you know, pink numbers and shit on the screen. But I mean, what does it do? God knows. It was a book. Wait, what into? The hell do you mean? Okay, so maybe in this cave there are like three books you have to collect and that's some unlocks something. I mean I don't know exactly. Okay, here is like the second thing. And here is the book. Into the Okay, into the something. Where's a book? No, those are just barrels. Okay, you know what? I don't care too much about you know Easter eggs and secrets and shit like that, so I'm just gonna go right ahead. Well then, shovel, good knowing you, but I'm gonna go for the katana, cause I do like the katana a little bit more. But yeah, usually what I do with my berserker, I just upgrade the shovel up until I can get the katana, and then I play with the katana up until I can get the battle axe. And once I have the battle axe, I just get the medic pistol upgraded once, and then just spout all of the money to the teammates. Okay, here we have a mysterious rock. It's not even a rock, it's something made out of metal, but what is it? I don't know. Okay, there's like a bunch of stupid ass- Wait, are those like all three doors? Okay, just punch me, man. And just as I said that, he just got knocked down, thanks, man. I mean, just look at this. Killing floor, nope. Welcome to Roboland. Fuck's sakes. And there's another one. I mean, what's this? Wait, does Endless actually have like more of a- Spawn point for him, I don't think he does. I mean, I haven't been playing Endless like all that much, so... But I mean, judging from Wave 3, I can kind of see that Edars like to spawn a little bit more than classic survival. But he's just dead. And here's another one, and it's a Trapper. Okay, be dead, thanks, man. I mean, I'm not, not like playing the best I could possibly be playing right now, but should I care? Ah, uh, probably not. Well then, to the trailer we go, and this room was actually quite mm, because I am kind of like a fan of the whole fog. I mean, I don't know what it is about fog in maps, but they just add that, how should I say, mystery feeling to the map. I mean, I might be just an idiot, but who knows? Oh, katana time. Upgrade the shit. Easy. Okay, we got like a bunch of gold, so I do think we're gonna go into a mansion of some sort? Or is this like a billionaire's basement or something? I mean, might be. Oh, that's a... Uh, Go fast. 
easily killed. Okay, here we have a statue made out of gold, and here we have a bunch of spiders that no one cares about. I mean, just imagine spiders actually spouting out, you know, webs and shit like that to slow you down, you know, like your movement speed. P please no. Okay, fidget spinner is destruction. Got him good. Morita, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm just gonna like poke you out of existence, thanks, man. And a spoiler. I mean, usually I would care if I blew him up, but I don't really actually. Okay, husks, I don't really care about your shenanigans, so easy kills. Okay, I just have to like keep track of my health, because even though I am the berserker, no, I can still die somehow. Okay, poke you, just like stun you back, there we go. More clots. I mean, people don't use the poke all that often, but come to think of it, it's a very... Very cool. Oh, I got 666 dosh. Very Satan. Okay, so if I sell this, I'm not gonna get enough to get the bad lags, I'm just gonna... Wait, why can't I... Oh. Never mind. I guess I'm just gonna be killing the boss, or should I say the first boss, with my once upgraded katana na. Wait, can you actually destroy this shit? Oh, nice. No, oh, and the boss is gonna be obviously the abomination, because... I'm in Berserker and Katana. Okay, boss, where you at? Oh, he just jumped down. So uh, this is like the only time I do hate the Abomination because I have to fight him with, you know, melee weapons. But I mean, at least I can... Okay, I'm gonna leave like one right here alive so I can replenish my... How should I say? Parry things? But I mean, if I just chop him and keep a lookout for my health, should be fine. Damn, yeah, no, he just killed my right here, thanks, man. Very kind, very freaking kind. I think he doesn't have his armor anymore. Oh, I'm getting sucked in. Very cool. Okay, speaking of my dead right here, friend, he is back and on the attack. I just like poking in this game. It's just like so satisfying, man. Okay, stupid ass abomination spawns. Can you just all blow up? Because you are annoying just a little bit. He's sucking nothing. So I'm just gonna go close, poke him, chop him. He chopped me. Usually not how that works. But I mean, this room is cool, you know, it, you have like restrictions on your jumping, so it makes it a little bit different than anything else. And on top of that, you can't even jump over mines, which is a little bit disappointing. Okay, you know what, dude? I'm just gonna chop you up. If I die, I die. <gasps> and I didn't die because he is the abomination. So yeah, this room, if it didn't have like this huge ass freaking fan, I mean, it would be just like a generic room, but I mean, it had something different. Okay. Got some eyes. I mean, if I poke him, something's maybe gonna happen. No? Well, then sell the katana and get myself the most awesome ass satisfying weapon in the game, aka the battle axe. But yeah, the battle axe does come very satisfying once you are like a level 20 because, you know, smashing shit like that. I mean, it's even. with the hell? This doesn't look like a room. Yeah, boy just got teleported to Blala -la Land. With like a bunch of eyes. Okay, Husk, quick EMP, got him good, and go towards him and chop him up. And that's why I like the bad lags, just satisfying to hell. I mean, a lot of people complain about it that it's like slow and shit like that, but for me it's just right. You know, it can't be like too... too fast, because you know it's a huge ass freaking axe. But I mean, fair enough, this dude is... chopping slower with the fire axe than the actual bad lags. So I'm not sure what the hell happened there. And the Scrake is dead. So yeah, this room is apparently a thing. Just like a bunch of eyes and that is pretty much it. So I just need to like parkour over this thing and we should be fine. Okay, I didn't even have to parkour because... Reasons. Well now let's see what wave 7 is gonna hold. Okay, slasher only wave. Pretty freaking easy. Just is like a walk in the park even easier than that probably. Oh, it's good for, like, XP, if nothing else. I'll give it that. Okay, so apparently this room is just, like, toxin upon toxin. Very cool, very cool. Can I poke you? I missed him. Jesus Christ. Well, then, more free parries, easy pickings. I mean, this is why, like, the Berserker, just go in parries and dudes. I'm, I'm not even taking damage, because, you know, reasons. And now we just go and, like, chop him up. Nice. Okay, more parry potential. Here we go. Chop him up as fast as possible. Got him good. And now there's only two left. One poked and the other one killed. I mean, I just like custom maps in this game. I don't know what it is about them. It's just 
so nice. I mean, if you think about it, we only get like four updates per year for Killing Floor 2, and usually it only has like one to two maps. And that's kind of disappointing. So yeah, having custom maps like these, I mean, it's just the best, man. I mean, even these like hallways that you only see for like once are detailed. My god. Okay, where the hell are we now? Okay, down into the slums. Okay, so hopefully I'm not gonna get like absolutely ruined in this room, but I guess we shall see. I mean, it's just so satisfying just like whooping this stupid ass door with the bad legs. Oh, it's a flesh wound. Uh, very cool. <gasps> I mean, not anymore, he's not, he's just dead. Okay, I'm kind of not, like, actually exploring the rooms a little bit. I'm just, like, playing on them. I mean, fair enough, that is, like, exploring. If you think about it, just, like, playing the map. Exploring everything, because it's, you know, new to me, pretty much. Because I don't know where the hell to go. What's up, piano? Nope, that's just a workbench. Okay, so this is where I have to go once the wave is gonna be over. And let's go and explore the left side of the map. Okay, got some EDRs behind. I don't really care about them. We got some more barrels. Wait, is this like a river of freaking blood? To hell? Wait, can you go in this shit? I mean, you can. Hopefully I'm not gonna, like, fall out of the map here, because that's gonna be disappointing. Okay, I'm not. But we do have some EDARs that I'm gonna whoop uh, right up. Nice. Well, and two more dudes, and both of them are gonna be Scrooks. Okay, one's dead. Easy parry, easy parry. Again. And he's dead. Nice. Well, and to the trader we go, and I don't even know what the hell the rooms are even gonna, like, look like after this one, because I can't, like, imagine anything else. But, I mean, I guess we shall see. Open sesame. What the hell? Okay, I thought my game broke. Wait, is this like the room? Part. The right man. Where's our ladder? Where can you go up the ladder? Okay, you can't even go up the ladder. Thanks, man. Okay, I don't know if there's like a stair in the way or the hell. Was this just like a flat room but everything's just like distorted? Okay, looks weird as fuck. The hell? Okay, I don't even know where the hell I am. Claude, you here? You are. Okay, easy stalker kills, got him good. Stupid ass Claude, give me free parry, thank you very much. Don't you dare, got him good. I just like the Berserk Hedge, it's satisfying. Is that like a double cyst or just one? Okay, just one apparently, and these two dudes are having a disagreement. Easy kills. Okay, Husk, are you there? Apparently he was exactly there. Flash pound is gonna chop you up. Maybe parry your ass. How didn't you die from that? I didn't even parry, thanks, man. And we got some quarter pounds right <coughs> behind him. <coughs> Apparently, I just killed the quarter pound. A very cool. Okay, this flash pound is a little bit sturdy, but in the end, the outcome is always the same. He is gonna die. Same as the Scrake. Okay, I don't even know what the hell this room is. I don't even want to be here anymore. And now it's time for the bloats. Got one and got the other one. And now we're going into the depths of... Something. Okay. Okay, just in case of another abomination, I'm just gonna go and buy myself the Eviscerator because this thing is... I mean, it's good for bosses. Okay, this is the next room and it's apparently just dudes in cages. Okay, it's going to be the King Flashbound. I'm just gonna use the Whistler Raider, because why not? So yeah, now let's just go and kill him as fast as possible. <laughs> but yeah, someone actually was convincing me that this dude is the hardest boss in the game. <laughs> what do you mean? How? How is this hard? It's just a Flashbound. And he does a fidget spinner attack. I mean, that's like the worst thing he can do. And this thing. A laser beam. That you can just like crouch. Okay, King Flashbound, you're gonna do something? Nope, you didn't even get me below... 50 shield. I mean, speaking of shield, there's yours. And I do know I'm playing him on Endless right now, but I mean, I just have like a million videos on the channel. And you can kind of see how I always kill the King Flashbone. Wait, what's he doing? Wait, does, still, does he still have the same bug in Endless? Because I don't see him doing that in, you know, normal play. And there goes my ammunition. He just like oofed his own quarter pound. Oh, and now he is mad. Thanks, man. Wait, can you derage him with EMP? I don't actually know. You can. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna kill you with this thing. 
Easy, level 21. Well, and that was wave 10, and I'm just gonna keep on playing until, you know, the rooms run out. I mean, I just need to buy my bad legs again, because... I mean, I could just go back and retrieve it, but this is, like, solo. I don't really care. So let's see what we can actually do. Okay, so I just beat the boss again. This time it was the Patriarch, which was piss easy, and... Hopefully it's not gonna crash again. Please don't crash. Oh, it didn't crash. To hell? I mean, usually I would be, like, pissed off if it did crash like it did, you know, now, but... I mean, I just have to, like, play anyway, you know, to, like, level up and shit, so I ain't even mad. But what I am, I am stuck. Okay, core pawns, absolutely whooped, got him good. Only 21 left. Okay, I'm still getting, like, a bunch of flesh pawns and shit like that. And here he is. Easily chopped. But yeah, a lot of people have been actually saying that the Eviscerator is now bad and unusable for some reason. I, I don't know if he plays the same Eviscerator as I do. But, I mean, this thing is just a powerhouse. I mean, I don't even know why people would, you know, not have it. I mean, I do prefer the OS Raider over the bad legs for the bosses, but... I mean, in terms of sat satisfaction, I'd much rather have, you know, the bad legs in between waves than the OS Raider, but... I mean, just look at this. It's good. What do you mean? Okay, I think I'm entering... Heaven now. Choose your skills and weapon wisely, this will be the last trailer. So yeah, that area was like the last one if you play this on, you know, just a long game, but this area is apparently the last last if you're playing Endless or something. So yeah, let's see what Endless is gonna hold. We do have to like... What? Okay, so I do believe this is like the last area of the map. Just... In case you're playing Endless. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and finish it and confirm that this is actually the last one. I mean, it's kind of cool, it's, you know, black and white type of map. Or should I say a room? Oh, I'm getting puked. <laughs> Very cool. But yeah, I do believe overall this is pretty much the map. Wait, is this the trader? Wait, what activation cost? What? Okay, so one more wave and then we're gonna activate something. Okay, I think I already have enough. Just a second. Just a second. Okay, so hopefully when you press activate, you're gonna get into, like, another room or something. Wait, what did I activate? The hell? I didn't activate shit. What do you mean? Okay, I don't even know what the hell I just spent 2,700 for, but... Maybe the particles? Yeah? I mean, here's a flesh bound, easily parryable, so... Quickly go for... The ammunition. Okay, I, I literally can't see shit, man. Well then, I do believe this is gonna be it. This blow just came out of nowhere. And I think I'm just gonna be forever in the abyss. Thanks, game. Very cool, oh, that's a scrape. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.